Hi, welcome to the Weight Room Lightboard. We're going to talk about pulling mechanics for the Olympic lifts and the uh, deadlift. And one common flaw that you see that uh, might not look incorrect, but it is definitely incorrect and can be uh, hazardous to the lifter. Um, what you see here is a good start position, shoulders in front of the barbell, barbell close to the shins, spine nice and in neutral position. And what you're going to do as a lifter is you want to push the knees back as you maintain tightness in the torso. And when you do that, you're going to apply force through the rear of the foot. And that force through the rear of the foot combined with the muscular fusion of the of the torso using the musculature of the back extensors, the abdominals, will create the hips and shoulders to rise together. Using the torso as a lever that's going to lift the weight, this is a proper pulling mechanic. And what you'll see, is we'll skip all the way over, is knees will go back, pressure goes into the ground, hips and shoulders rise together. Okay? So this is then, once the barbell clears the knees, you can then fire the glutes and the hip extensors maintain that muscular fusion in the torso and a finished position will be the full triple extended position with vertical motion. Okay, That's what you want to see. A common flaw that you're going to see is where just the hips rise up and the shoulders stay and no motion happens. So when the lifter applies pressure by firing the quads to get the knees to extend and go back, there's pressure into the floor, but the barbell doesn't move. So then what has to happen is the lifter then has to create swing of the torso with his back extensors. So he's using the back extensors not to stabilize, but to create motion. This is going to be one of the reasons why you see many people stall out and plateau in their, in their weight that they can lift. And also, you can, this is a common thing that you see with lifters that complain that their back bothers them when they're lifting. You may not see the back around, okay? It'll look perfectly straight, but if you video and you slow it down, you'll see how they really wrench the back to try to lift the weight up. Okay, this swinging motion is one of the reasons why when you talk about some of the Newton's laws of motion, things in motion stay in motion. In the Olympic lifts, this might see, be why you see lifters missing weight over the top of their head. So if you have a lifter that's consistently missing snatches behind them or cleans that they look off balance, they have to step back and catch, this may be the cause of that. So you want to film them, slow it down, take a look and see what happens, okay? If you see the hips rise without any movement on the barbell, that's an incorrect motion. So we want to see hips and shoulders go up together once force gets produced into the platform. Okay, so incorrect here, this is correct, where you see hips and shoulders rise together. The angle at the hip, if you look closely, is identical. Here, it becomes more acute. All right, so this has been Weight Room Whiteboard, uh, Athletes Equation. Thanks to Yuluchi Sports Medicine for allowing us to uh, film here in their weight room. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.